but he had his muscles on his arms cut off and he was strangled to death. And then there's other instances as well, like one individual who... Hello everybody. So I officially made it to my place in Paris. I'm not totally sure about the echoing and all this other stuff. I still have to set everything up to help prevent such things. Obviously, as some of you guys know, I'm starting school here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and not, as the youth say, dilly dally around the subject. So right now, I think the main question that I have that I wanted to address is whether or not the Taliban is going to do reprisal killings. It kind of like, where exactly are we at? So I have my little handy dandy notes on my phone. Everything I'm pulling from is all the recent information according to the New York Times and Amnesty International. Okay, so first things first, let's try to get a better understanding about this, this cluster of a situation that we are currently presented with. So 82,000 people right now have fled Afghanistan within the last 24 hours the US had taken 19,000 people out of Afghanistan through the airport. So when we're trying to figure out, will the Taliban do things like reprisal killings? I suppose we have to get a better understanding of where the Taliban's actually at. So we know at least a month ago, back in July, there are situations like in a place called the Ghazni province where the Taliban, I think it was around July 3rd or 4th. So it's a little dated, but I think it gives us a better understanding of their kind of their mindset at the time. The Taliban had killed nine people, had tortured three, including one individual who was choked with his own scarf. And he had his muscles, it didn't specify which muscles, if for some of you kind of sickles out there wondering specifically what they had done to this person, but he had his muscles on his arms cut off and he was strangled to death. And then there's other instances as well, like one individual who was uh, shot in the leg, had his arms and legs broken, and he had his hair pulled out, interestingly enough, and had his face bludgeoned with some sort of an object. I don't know if this person had died. And then there was another situation where a woman was killed because she didn't have a headscarf. So now we have to understand, now that these types of people are in power, are they going to be able to change their methods to something a little less violent and personal. Well, what I can tell you is statistically, people who use violence to achieve power do not change their methods once they get into power. This is historically speaking. And so for those of you statistically who do not know who I am, which are the newer viewers, I'm working on my PhD in Western security policy and I study extremism and how people take power, whether it be violently, non-violently throughout the test of time. So statistically, most people don't change their course once they actually get into power because it's kind of obvious. They're like, oh, well, now that I've used a violence to bludgeon old people to death, why would I change my tune? I'm already going to hell kind of deal. So do we expect them to continue to do these things? I would say yes. They also had a little interesting citation when discussing this topic and they had actually admitted, they being the Taliban, had admitted that if the U.S. decides to postpone their withdrawal, then yes, they will start doing reprisal killings. I mean, let's be honest, do I think that they're going to do it anyway? Statistically speaking, yes, they will. Now, a lot of times people in academics don't like to give like very specific answers. So like, well, maybe based off of what this person said or what this person said, I'm here to say I believe concretely, yes, they will in fact do reprisal killings. Whether or not we will find out about it will probably be kind of like hit or miss here and there. And I think that we'll more than likely blame it on some sort of an individual if it becomes public, like, oh, this person was trying to be a bad bitch after they were feeling themselves once upon a time, decided to do this, and we have nothing to do with this type of reprisal killing. However, I can tell you if that does happen, that's more than likely gonna be bullshit. They probably plan that. Historically speaking, that's the case. But anyway, thought I'd do a little tidbit for the day. Hopefully you guys got something out of that.